Welcome to Hood Champion Boxing and Sports. In boxing, you find a way to win or you find a way to lose. Tyson Fury and Alexander Yusik. Uh, there are going to be eight belts on the line. Now, we already know about um, the WBO, WBC, and the IBF belts, right? But there are a couple other belts that are going to be on the line that I think people are overlooking. Is the IBO, not many people care about the IBO belt. So, so far you got the IBO, IBF, WBO, WBA, WBC. That's five belts. Then you got the Ring Magazine belt, right? Then you have the Lineal belt. And then out there in Saudi, so that's seven. Then out there in Saudi Arabia, they have, you know, the, the undisputed uh, uh, belt that, they, they, that they've created and they put on the line. So those are the eight belts that are going to be uh, on the line for the undisputed clash between Tyson Fury and Alexander Yusik. Uh, but let me tell you something, man. <sighs> the, the more I listen to Tyson Fury talk, the more I learn about this clash that's taking place, the more I just have a feeling that people are going to be hugely disappointed with the, the way the fight is handled because um, because there's something there's something odd about this fight with Tyson Fury Yusik with Turkey Alashik now Tyson Fury's dad is back in his training camp for this um, which remember he wasn't really involved in his previous training camps uh, Tyson Fury is referring to his dad as a secret weapon. And we know Turkey al came out and said, talked about how much he cares about Tyson Fury's dad and he misses his dad. And then all of a sudden Tyson Fury's dad ends up back in the training camp and his dad is the secret weapon. Um, I, I need to find out if Sugar Hill's still involved. I would think he is. Um, but then Tyson Fury says, you know, when he wins the belts, we, we know he talks like that, right? But when he wins the belts, all eight, because he said he doesn't have any, any more room for belts, he had to get another cabinet. Uh, but he's going to give all belts to Turkey al uh, And it's going to basically be a present that he's given to him. Um, Continuing, you know, continuing on, Tyson Fury starts talking about Yusik, saying how he doesn't dislike him. It's not personal; it's just business. And uh, he doesn't hate him, and he doesn't think Yusik hates him. But he he understands um, how the business goes. And, and when I when I hear that, right, I'm like, what? What, what is he alluding to? Understanding how the business goes. Yusik and I don't hate each other. We know that this is just part, part of the business. It, it almost sounds like everything is scripted. Is it scripted? Because when I look at what's going on with Tyson Fury... It almost seems that this was carved out for things to go the way that they're going. The, the way his career has developed since he's returned to boxing, it almost seems that it's been calculated, scripted, carved out for him every step of the way. And now he's here about to become a billionaire. It, it, I just don't understand it. But he did finally give Yusik some credit and talked about um, he's confident in his ability, but, you know, Yusik is a, is a tough challenge for him. Uh, Fury went on to talk about his shape, his training camp, and um, he said there's not really more that he can do. He expects to be victorious on, uh, on May 18th, but he's not talking about the rematch. That's something else that caught my attention. If you notice, there's no discussions about a rematch. No talks about a rematch. But anyway, we got to see how it all plays out. That being said, y'all keep cool. Eight belts on the line. Tyson Fury saying, 
that Yusik knows is just business. Man, I have a feeling all this shit is just scripted. I do. I really do. But we'll 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 wait and see. I don't I, I just have a feeling, man. It's just something isn't right about this Fury Usyk fight. And the more Tyson Fury talks, the more I'm convinced that he's going to fight AJ next. And Usyk almost seems to just be okay with getting the $50 million he's going to make and letting Tyson Fury go on to fight Anthony Joshua. It, it almost seems like that's a consolation prize for him to just, hey, you fight Fury, yeah, you're going to take a loss, but, you know, these are the big guys. You as a smaller guy coming up, you're not supposed to beat the elite big man in the heavyweight division when you're a cruiserweight. Yeah, you beat some okay heavyweights, but not the elite. Size matters. Uh, the, you were the elite at cruiserweight. You should never beat the elite at heavyweight. A, a, a good big man always beats a good little man, kind of, right? Almost sounds like Yusik has almost said, okay. Almost like when he kind of just submitted to the 30% to fight Tyson Fury. Now it's almost submitted to the $50 million and to fight you and you're going to do what, whatever you guys want to do. I made all this money. I could be wrong, but it just, that's how it seems to be in the breeze.